Rodney Andrew Hall Sr. died after waiting for more than an hour for EMS to arrive. Earlier this week, we talked to the ambulance service manager as she calls for more funding, and tonight his family is speaking out. ABC 3340's Gracie Johnson joins us from the newsroom. Gracie, Hall died on Christmas night. Megan, I spoke with Rodney's son. He told me that his father did suffer from health issues throughout his life, but he was only 57 years old. His death was sudden to him and their family. Now his son is speaking out in hopes this doesn't happen to anyone else. Delacio Spencer is a son of Rodney Allen Hall Sr. Hall died on Christmas Day after waiting over an hour for an ambulance in Pickens County. Spencer walked me through how he learned of his father's passing. So I received a phone call um, from some relatives, uncles, about 4 o'clock a.m. that my father had passed away. Spencer told me that earlier in the day his father had been coughing, but told relatives he was okay. Later on Christmas night, Hall eventually asked relatives to call an ambulance. I was speaking to my uncle. He was talking uh, the entire time. Even when the ambulance showed up, he was still talking. Um, they checked his vitals, made sure he was good, um, placed him on the stretcher, and he coded from there, and they weren't able to revive him. At the time of the call on Christmas night, the Pickens County Ambulance was in Tuscaloosa getting ready to drop a patient off. No helicopters were able to fly due to the weather and Greene County, which typically helps cover calls in that area of Pickens County, only had one ambulance itself. The manager of Pickens County Ambulance Service said it's unclear why other first responders did not go to the call. Spencer said his uncle told him that they waited for an ambulance for around 90 minutes. He potentially could have been still here with us. The manager of Pickens County Ambulance Service, Vicki McCrory, told us they have only eight employees to fully staff a 24-7 ambulance right now. Megan.